The preferred anchorage on San Miguel is Kyler Harbor. When you plan your passage, remember that the prevailing northwesterlies intensify in the afternoon and they're strongest at San Miguel. The best advice I can give you is to plan your passage from any departure point so that you reach Kyler Harbor before noon. The best approach is between Harris Point and the western end of Prince Island. Take a look at your chart and consult Brian Fagan's cruising guide for specific directions. The best anchorage is wherever you can find a kelp-free area in the western corner of Kyler Harbor in the area of the four palm trees. The bottom is sandy and the holding is very good. The best landing to shore is out of the swell at the beach near the palm trees. Keep in mind you may be returning to your boat against more than 25 knots of wind, so a reliable outboard, a set of oars, and PFDs for everyone are essential equipment. The must-do list at San Miguel includes the hike up to the ranger station, starting with a nice walk down the beach. Next, it's a one mile hike from the trailhead up about 500 feet in elevation. The Cabrillo Monument and a campground are on the way. Hiking beyond the ranger station is prohibited unless you have a ranger escort. San Miguel is the most challenging of the northern Channel Islands and it's partly for that reason that I find it the most rewarding. It's wild, it's windy, and it just feels so remote. The ability to adhere to your passage plan and the ability to shorten sail and handle 30 knots of wind, to be comfortable with your anchoring skills, are all essential ingredients for a, for a safe and rewarding visit. Perhaps the most important thing for a passage to San Miguel is to have a contingency plan with an array of alternate destinations, and this is key, the willingness to change course in case conditions get beyond your comfort level. If that happens, remember that Conditions generally get more moderate as you head east towards Santa Cruz and Anacapa. There will always be another day.